YouTube. Man, I just had this whole soliloquy and this whole intro and everything, and I just realized that I was muted the whole time. So that's okay. Don't care. You know, you know, I don't mind getting back into what I was saying. So let's start with this video right here. Okay, Gay the Giz Group. I want you to notice these people in the background. Like, what the f is this supposed to be representing here? Like, what has this got to do with? Oh, look at the people. They're celebrating. That's what I'm saying, because what ends up happening every time, and this is by gays, um, I guess, groomers. Um, and I'll start this off before I even get into this video. Um, one thing I'll say is, like, look, I understand. I, I'm a, you know, I'm a Catholic man, and um, I understand, you know, homosexual, LBGBTQ, you know, as Catholics, it may seem that we're against anything that ever goes on and anything like that. And uh, obviously, there's things that we disagree about fundamentally even morally in some cases. But here's one thing we can align on. The dang children. And the thing about the gays against the groomers, I see them doing more work than I see some Catholics not even speaking up. We don't even see the people saying anything about the kids. We're, I mean, I understand to keep our eyes on God, but to avoid it. Like, I didn't know about a whole lot of this stuff. I learned a lot of this stuff from YouTube, but the things that the gays against the groomers put up is just like crazy. Like even they, it almost feels like they're on my dang side at the end of the day. And they kind of are because they're on our side of protecting children at all costs. I don't, I don't know why I don't see other people talking about this. They're quick to talk about that and this. And what is going on with that? But it's like, why don't you open your mouth and talk about the children for once? And so anyway, talking about that, you know, seeing this video of this man running around, as you can see, if we go back, oh, this is disgusting. You see all these people cheering and this little boy here in the background? Yeah, good job. You're amazing. I feel like Pride Parade has just turned into a sex parade. Like, that's all it is. Like, yes, at the end of the day, it be, has become a sex parade. You know what, guys? Give me one second. I'll be right. 20 seconds. Okay, let's get back to it. They have to make a readjustment. So, um, these people here in the back are just like, wow, he's so liberating. This, and we were, the, the captain says this was a biological male, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, it's so captivating. You know, if a guy was to walk in any other place, even a female, if these people were to go to a regular, if I was to go, let's say it's me. Let's say if I was to go to a, a parade, a parade that for reading books, something random, right? A book parade where, you know, we're celebrating the, the great authors of the world and, you know, the books that we've got to learn from and all that stuff. Instead, but I don't show up in a T-shirt and pants. I show up with my balls hanging out. What if I show up to a what if I show up to a book reading parade that's just celebrating the great authors that we've had in this world and I show up with my balls hanging out? Am I, is that liberating for me? Or are people going to be like, Yes. I know this is supposed to be about reading books, but pull your balls out. I thought this was supposed to be about just chilling. You know, I thought this was supposed to be about I'm gay and I'm supposed to, I want to love who I want to love. And even then, you know, I'm not saying we need to throw a parade for that, too, in my opinion. But even, you know, we did throw a parade. So what is that to be like? Hey, guys. Um, I realize that I, th I think I'm a, I'm a man living in a woman's. Uh, body, and so to so to you know to let you guys know that you know I really feel like I need to become more of who I am. I'm gonna pull my balls out. <laughs> you know how see how stupid it sounds when I say it. it I, I want to show the world that I'm really coming out. I know this is very vulnerable for me. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull my breast out. I'm gonna show you my nipples to show you who what it means to be a real what. What woman do you know pulls her breasts out like that and is supposed to be considered in, okay in the head? I'm sorry. Who's supposed to pull out the breast and be like, oh, perfect. You got it down. This person is perfectly okay. Like, we were at a parade and she pulled her breast out to show us, you know, it's that whole sexual revolution and the whole sex is supposed to be freeing. And then the LGBTQ now... I know everybody, not, just, not the whole group ain't like this, but look, this is what it is. We got to react to what we see. 
I know everybody's not like that, okay? I don't like to put everybody in a box. Gays Against Groomer is making that apparent. But I'm, I'm talking about people like this who say they're part of the LGBTQ. If that is the case, this, pulling my little boy out and saying, oh, oh, look, look, get the breast out, baby. Honey, honey, that's how you be true. So when you grow up, I want you to... Let's move on. Okay? I wanted to show you uh, this video right here. Why is this so celebrated? No, like, it sounds, I'm, and I'm trying so hard to not call it what it is, which is absolutely complete insanity. I am sorry. Like, that sounds insane. And we're trying to make it normal. And it's it just, it's just not. A grown woman coming out and saying, hey, guys, look. Honestly, I want to parade this out to the world. I want to let you know that, uh, hold on, can you hand me that megaphone? Thank you. I'm a guy! Sing it to the whole world. Scream it to everybody you can see. I'm a guy! This is what I used to tell you guys, and this was my problem initially, and I'll say this one more time. When I was, you know, doing my own, going through my own part of life, and I was looking into the LGBTQ, because I was going through a part of my life where I felt like I, I, I didn't understand where I needed to go, and I felt like I couldn't be a part of anything, and I wanted to be part of a, a, um, a group, right? Um, now, there was still things I didn't believe in the LGBTQ, like being, like saying that it was perfectly okay, and you can, um, you know what I mean. Um, but that's a conversation for another day. But my point is, is, I wasn't like, yes, you know, go be lesbian, be, go be gay. I was of the same mindset even back then. But nonetheless, when I was when I was in that group, really getting into it, talking to people in the group, seeing about the group, um, I told myself like, you know, my only issue with this group because I was look, I was in a Facebook group and everything. I said one of my issues with this group, not my only, but one of them, my issue was. Everybody just wants to get validated. Like, that's all it seems that these videos were about was getting validation. It wasn't about anything else. It's like if I just come out and say, hey, guys, I just want to let you know. Uh, I know yesterday I was talking to you guys, T-shirt, beard, you know, talking about my manhood and, you know, the, the hardships of being a man and the life of being a man and. You know, just even though I'm still so proud to be a man. Oh, let me adjust this right quick. I'm just so proud to be a man. And instead I go, and then the next day I go, hey guys, want to let you know, I'm a girl. Back in the day you say that, I'm a girl, people can look at you like, And y'all know it's a slippery slope because if somebody, when people come out and say, uh, I know I'm 47, but I really identify as a seven-year-old little girl. <clears throat> somebody you already know. It's just like, I think we do people a disservice when we don't even try to look out for them. We don't even try to go get help. We don't try to say, okay, well, let's talk about this. That's what I used to hate about the group. It's just as soon as somebody says they are what they are, complete validation. I was against that when people came out and said, hey, I'm gay. Like, we don't even question it. I hate when somebody would come out and say, hey, I believe I'm gay. And people are like, oh, we knew when you were two years old. Bull crap. I don't believe that garbage for a freaking second. You... You knew since he was two. You know what's so crazy is, you know, people thought I was gay, you know, uh, growing up, even though I, at no point 
did I ever show any attraction in a man. I always was trying to get a girlfriend, always going after the women. But because of my mannerisms and the way I acted sometimes, the people would just immediately call me gay. So if I had come out and said I was gay, you know, the people would have just validated me, even if I didn't believe it, even if I'm like, well, you know what? I think I'm gay. I had a friend of mine who said that, that same thing. Because he could not get a girlfriend, right? And he had trouble with women because he was just a socially awkward person. He came out and said he was gay. And you know what my other friends said? My friends were like, oh, of course he's gay. We always knew it. I uh, know the F I didn't. I had at one point in my life that I think my friend was gay. I didn't validate that. I didn't say that. I talked with the man. But like, so, I mean, at what point did you, I mean, can we even have a conversation? Can we do some talking? That's my real problem. Can we at least do some talking? If a girl comes out and says, oh my God, can we at least do some talking? Oh, I'm lesbian. I like girls. Can we do some talking? Because if a man comes out and says, I'm into kids, we definitely going to do some talking. Back to video. Can we do some talking? Butt cheeks out. Little girl. Matter of fact, y'all saw the little girl. I'm going to pull her out of the picture. Little girl. Butt cheeks. Balls hanging. But we can't do no talking. We just got to accept everything that comes to us. Let's move on to the next video. This is, and here's the flag. This flag right here that's hanging up on between two American flags. We're going to watch that video right now. Welcome to the White House. Thank you. Can we take a little video? Hi, Mr. President. It is an honor. France rights with human rights. Are we confident that the White House... Can we do some talking? All of us, can we do a little bit of talking? White House? Breast hanging out. Why do, why do you need to show that? The most inspiring people I've ever known. Most bravest, inspiring people. And that's where it all used to be so... And that's where we really started screwing up. You know, instead of being accepting of being like, oh, you're gay, okay, I can, I mean... You know, accept it, we, we, we talk about it, we have a conversation, don't have to agree with it, but it is what it is, you know? We, we're not here to, to, to kill them off or do anything heinous. No, 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 no. But what ends up happening is we get people who want to come in and start saying that thing. It, you're so brave. Brave about what? You know, because, listen, I'm not here to knock somebody coming out. I understand there was some hard times with homosexuality. You feel like you couldn't be yourself and all this kind of stuff. But I just don't find it like crazy, brave or uh, earth shattering courage to do so. Because if you come wake up and say, I'm gay, what happens tomorrow? Nothing. You didn't really do anything. You just came out of the closet. You just said, I like men or I like women. You know, I don't find that like the same courageousness like, like that we were doing. Like, you know, who was it? Bruce Jenner, Kyle, Kyle, what is it? Caitlyn Jenner came out, got woman of the year. That's where it all started slip, being a slippery slope. It's like, you're not the most courageous person in the world for doing that. You're just not. Because if you come out, I mean, what do you think you're going to get? I get back then, people would, you know, if you just came out and said you were gay, you were going to get chemically castrated and all of that kind of stuff. I get that. But to me, it's even more obvious today coming out of the closet is not a courageous thing. It's almost the opposite. It's almost more courageous to come out and say, I don't know, man. I don't know about this LGBTQ. That's more courageous now, even though we're starting to see a flip. Since the Bud Light thing happened, we're starting to see a flip with Starbucks, Target, Bud Light. These companies are like, okay, ooh, whoa, we are not about to do all this pride stuff because <laughs> it ain't making us no money. And I, you know what's so crazy? For the people who are really standing up for the LGBT, you know, and just saying we do exist, um, which is fine, uh, the problem became... Um, I felt sorry for them because I don't think they needed a whole Pride Month 
I don't think it was necessary. I think it could be an all year round thing, not marching and just getting catered to and getting all these companies to pander to you guys or anything like that. It could have just been an all year round thing. Every now and then you go in the store, you might see a pride mug. It's cool. I mean, I would have no issue with that. But to dedicate a whole month to it, see everybody change their logos, it just becomes one of the worst months possible because it's like, man, it just feels like y'all y'all own the place. And then after pride month is over, it feels like it never ends. It's like every time I wake up, a drag queen is trying to talk to a kid. Every time you wake up, somebody's like, hey, this gay people need to be able to do this. Gay people need to be able to do that. It's like, dang, y'all can't rule the world, man. Y'all can't have every dang thing, okay? I understand y'all fought for some things, but it can't be just, oh, you know what? I'm LGBT, so I get away with anything and everything I want to do. When people are getting shot down and people don't even want to talk about the... Uh, the mental illness that was going on with the killer because the killer happened to identify as trans. It's just like, dang, we can't even, I mean, can we do some talking? I'm not asking for us to shame and uh, demonize and all that stuff. I mean, can we sit down and just do some talking for once? And I think we're finally about to, you know what's stupid through these companies that are backing away like Target, Starbucks, and but like they still ain't doing no talking. They just saying, all right, we just gonna put it in the back. They're not even having a conversation for them, but they don't care about that group. They care about money. Okay? End of the day, this is a business. And if you ain't making money, LGBT, we putting them in the back. Because if they ain't making us money, baby, oh, we don't need to talk about them. And I feel sorry because y'all got used. Just like black people got used in Black Lives Matter. Okay, can we, can we, I just want to show y'all the flag in the back. Okay. Hold on. So we got this flag in the back, right? Now, I didn't know this normally, but, you know, I did learn that these two flags right here, right? When the American flag is hung up with multiple flags, it's supposed to be in the middle, right? And now this flag you see has the trans in there, LGBTQ, and this is this, this part right here. It's supposed to be Black Lives Matter, which I don't know how that get roped in. We clearly know Black Lives Matter at this point with a scale. <laughs> it is clear now, but... <laughs> I don't get it. And why is that flag in the middle? The, the American flag is supposed to be in the middle. We are a nation. The LGBTQ don't run the world, baby. They don't run America. But they will have you believe it's true. And look at this video. This individual just showing off their body. It's like, what is this supposed to be about, dude? Let me show y'all one more video. Let's take a quick look at this picture. Look. Sitting in underwear, balls hanging, in front of this, in front of this little bitty girl, man, who don't know what, who don't know what's going on. She, you're screwing this little girl up. Look at these people in the back smiling. You bunch of weirdos. This ain't normal, dude. It's evil. I'm so, I got, this is grown men pretending to do their little kink with the dogs, and bam, bam. Little bitty girl thinking, oh, this is cute. This is cool. Not knowing that this is a kink to them. This is a kink to them. He's got his T-shirt off, underwear, nothing else. T-shirt, underwear, nothing else. And that's supposed to be something we show to our children. If that was any man who was walking in the streets, would you let a man like that come up to your little daughter and let, them, let your little daughter pet him in the world? No, 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 you wouldn't. But that's the pride parade for you. It's just a sex parade, a kink parade. It ain't about the other stuff no more, baby. <laughs> what am I doing? I guess we got to have a little humor in here, you know, because this is it's a crazy world. I'm not even going to say it's a crazy world, you know, because... It seems like I'm saying that about everybody. Honestly, it's it's just my best wording is it's just it's just out of order. Let me hear this video. Conservatives are trying to use the video. It has recently come to my attention that conservatives are trying to use the video of me topless. This is that person. To try to call the community groomers, etc. And I would just like to say that first of all, going topless in Washington, D.C. is legal, and I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest 
now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off. However, before coming out as trans, it was not. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women because for some reason, people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. My trans masculine friends were showing off their top surgery scars and living in joy and I wanted to join them. And because it is perfectly within the law in Washington, D.C., I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe because I wanted to be fully free and myself. I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or be profane in any way. I was simply living in joy, living my truth and existing in my body. Happy Pride. Free the nipple. All right, let's break this down bit by bit. I might make this into a whole separate video. Let's start at the top. It has recently come to my attention that conservatives are trying to use the video of me topless at the White House to try to call the community groomers, etc. It's not appropriate. Why can't y'all see that? It's not appropriate. You know what? Let's look up this law. You can walk around topless in D.C. Let's see. Let's see what the law is. Okay. Nope. This person got banned. I don't see any laws saying, okay, here we go. Free the nipple. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is what, what she's talking about. Okay, let's read about it. Free the nipple is a campaign that would allow women to be shirtless. It said would allow. I don't see it saying allowed. <clears throat> the movement challenges the convention that men are allowed to be top with in public while it is considered indecent or sexual for a woman to do the same. The argument is that both men and women have breasts and nipples uh, uh, while br men's breasts just tend to be smaller. The campaign asserts that it should be legally and culturally acceptable for women to bear nipples. You know where this um, stops? Hold on, let's see this. What is decent is judged by community standards based on morality, traditional religion. There is no federal law for or against nudity in the United States. However, nudity is generally against the law in public places in any state. So... So I'm looking into this, and pretty much what I'm seeing is a uh, free the nipple. You can walk around topless in D.C., right? Let's just go with that logic. <laughs> Do you not find that kind of odd, right? Walking around in front of a child without your shirt on, with your breasts hanging out, and, and we're going to break down a little bit more. You don't find that just a tad bit odd? And I hate that the argument is, well, men can do it. Why is that always the argument? Just because a man can do it. Right? Our men, we have chest. Okay? Our breasts are not meant to be help to help feed a child. Right? And you're right, breasts are looked up on sexually around here. And that's the way it's always gonna be. Because if if that's your logic, then we can walk around with our balls hanging. You know what I mean? For you to say let's continue. So I, I wanna get to this part. And I fully support the movement in freeing the nipple because why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off? However, before coming out as trans, it was not. I think when they're saying going topless, I think what this person is saying is that they would they it's illegal to go topless if you're a guy. But if you're a woman, it is not the same. But the argument's going to be, well, I could do it before as a man. Why can't I do it now that I have breasts? All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women. You are doing that. You are saying that. You're changing saying, saying trans women are women because what you have done is made women not about being who they are as a whole. 
Okay, with everything that comes with a woman, you have just boiled it down to women having breasts makes a trans woman a woman. Breast equals woman. Not women who have their women, not women who don't have breasts. There's women who are flat chested, women who have to have their breasts removed because of cancer or stuff like that. You just pretty much just said, hey, look, now because I can't do this, you're right. <laughs> trans women are women because look, I can't even take my shirt off because I have breasts. That, that, that proves that I'm a woman. No, that's what you're saying. You're saying that breasts make equals woman. What the people are saying when you're walking around topless and that is inappropriate is that because when they are looked upon, when people see breasts in that form of fashion, it will be sexualized. It just will. Pornography has gone rampant through America. Okay. Breasts are seen as sexual. That's why women, when they show themselves off on OnlyFans and porn, and when they're showing themselves off in shoots, what are they trying to show off? Their breasts. They're not, they know that is a sexual symbol in our city, but you want to make it not that. And the problem with that is if we continue to walk down that road, once again, I'm going to be able to go walk outside with my balls hanging. That's, that's, it doesn't end. That's what they always want to do. This whole progressive movement is always supposed to be pushing the boundaries. Well, why can't we just have women go pop topless? Because if we start doing that, men are going to start going bottomless. So there'll be like topless women, bottomless men. What the, f what are we going to be looking at then? We're just going to have, then eventually they're going to be like, well, why don't we just go full nude? And then people are just going to walk around naked around children, showing their balls, right? Showing their breasts, showing those butt cheeks, sh showing themselves in dog uniforms like those guys did earlier. And kids are just going to be seeing that. And they're going to get groomed to death. Because you don't care about the kids, do you? You don't care about being an adult. You remember that there were kids at that event, right? Can you just be a freaking adult? Why do people want to stay in the state of being a child 24-7 for the rest of their dang lives? You get people in their 50s now being like, well, I just want to be young. And no! You got to grow up. You can't be a kid forever. I'm sorry. Life has to go on. It has to. You have to grow up. This life is not about being a kid and staying a kid. You can't just do whatever you want because if we allow people to have that mindset of I'm always a kid, kids are going to be in danger because they're going to be people who are never going to leave kids alone. They're going to be those guys who went to high school, who got bullied and never got a girlfriend, and then they turn 40 years old and they want to go after kids now that they can get them because they got money in a car and they can do all this stuff and they want to go out with little 13 year old girls. It's weird. Okay. It's not normal. Because for some reason people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate. No, 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 no. See, we're not saying that women's bodies are inappropriate. We're saying being a nude body would be inappropriate. A topless woman who has breasts, right? Now, what's the argument? What if she doesn't have breasts? What if she's her breasts have been completely removed and she walks around without a shirt on? Listen, dude, I would still have a problem with that. I'm not a big fan of men walking around without a shirt on, but I understand that it's going to be socially acceptable. But a woman walk around who had her breasts removed and she just wants to... Now, if a woman has her breasts removed and now I don't know a whole lot of women who have their breasts removed, who want to walk around topless. Why? Because most of the time, it's not for a good reason they had it removed. If a person has it removed as a woman, has their breasts removed to be a man, and now wants to walk around topless, don't you find that odd? You walk around topless now because you remove your breasts because you want to believe that you're a man. That's not okay. Mental illness why can't we just say it is what it is that still wouldn't be normal if a man now has breasts right gets breast implant now wants to walk around with their shirt on and show off their breasts don't you see a problem with that both situations are not good there's something wrong with you if you want to be like now i got breasts i want to take off my shirt and show my breasts around what does that got to do with being a woman now what does that got to do with being a woman and the same is the reverse what are you not having breasts anymore and having them removed and then taking off shirt? What does that got to do with being a man? Neither one of those have any situation with being with either one of those genders. But you know what it's all about. My have my breasts hanging. Friends were showing off their pop surgery scars and living in joy. And I wanted to join them. And because it is perfectly within the law in Washington, D.C., I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe. 
because I wanted to be fully free and myself. Fully free. That's what I've just said. It's all about being sexually free. Be able to do whatever the F you want. That's really what it boils down to. I, and the people showing off their scars. That's not normal. I don't care what you say. Somebody was like, I got my breast removed. So now I want to show the whole world I got my breast removed. That's weird, dude. It's not normal. It's a validation thing. It's to say, oh, look at world. Look, world, I no longer have breasts. I'm free. No. If, if you need that much validation from us to feel like you're now a man, that's a problem. First of all, I hate to break it to you. Most people don't care about most people. We all got lives and bills. Most of us aren't rich. Most of us are living paycheck to paycheck. Most of us are trying to do all these other things. So you taking off your shirt and showing that you're a man, I promise you, brother, most people don't care. But you, you, you seek validation so much, you feel like you have to show it off to the world. Just like you, friend. You want to do this thing to show off your breasts to feel like you're a part of. You want to be validated so much. Keep your shirt on then. If you want to be validated, just live your life. Okay? Why do you have to show that to us to get validation from us? You don't even care about our validation. Because uh, if you're conservative, of course, if we come out and say, uh, sure, you know, you're going to hate us anyway. It's like you want to have a battle, a constant battle with somebody who's against your ideology. Somebody who's like, no, no, I don't know if I agree with that. You want to show your chest off to those people because you want to put it in their face. You don't want to do no talking. You just want to put it in their face and be like, you will follow and you will bow down. I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or be profane in any way. I was simply living in joy, living my truth. Anytime you hear anybody ever say that, living my truth, flag. Happy Pride, freedom of love. And you got banned. Let's read about that. And you got banned. White House bans trans activists for a topless photo at the Pride event. Rose uh, Montoya, a trans model and activist, said she was living her truth. What did I just say? Was a living her truth flag. That is a red flag. That's when a person says they're living their truth, what they really mean is I'm gonna live however the F I want. It wasn't trying to be vulgar or profane. The White House said a transgender model would be banned from future events due to photos and videos to show her topless on the South Lawn during a LGBTQ Pride per month celebration on Saturday. Rose Montoya. A trans uh, model and activist was among hum hundreds invited by Biden administration to mark Pride Month, which is observed every June. Let's keep reading. Montoya shared a video from the event on Instagram that features a clip of her standing in front of the White House topless covering her nipples with her hands. Right wing media shared screenshots from Mont Montoya's video with commentators and media personalities calling her actions disrespectful. Many of Montoya's critics misgendered her by referring to her with male. Now, we didn't misgender Jack. This is obviously on the other side. This is bias. A White House posting spoke Tuesday in that um, said that Toya, Montoya and other the other people featured in her video would be banned from future events. So this thing that she said... Uh, this thing that Rose is saying is saying that, oh, I can't do it because y'all see me as a woman. The other people got banned, too. The trans man, the trans men in that video who had their scars, they got banned, too. See, it's always a narrative with you people. Always a narrative. And when I say you people, I don't mean trans. I mean these psycho people who think it's all about them. Okay? People who are very narcissistic. I don't saying everybody who's trans is narcissistic. There's people who really struggle. There's people who are trans who really have struggled. And the, the only way they can feel like they can get by is to do what they got to do. But a lot of these people aren't even really trans. They just want to they just want to rule the world pretty much. They just want to do whatever the heck they want to. It pops up in their head and they're like, yeah, let's do it. You know, I, I'm, I'm a girl today because I want to be. All right, we'll read this last one. This behavior is un inappropriate and disrespectful for any event at the White House. It is not reflective of the event we hosted to celebrate the LGBTQ plus IA, uh, IA plus, families and other hundreds of guests who were in attendance. The White House spoke and said, individuals in the video will not be invited to future events. So it's not even about just you, Rose. It's about the other people. 
that's the point. That's when you said it was inappropriate. No, it's inappropriate. Can it just be inappropriate? Man, got me knocking my freaking camera down. Can we just be, can we just do some talking? I'm done. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think this person was right? You think they were wrong? Ah, you know, I, 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 I normally don't go after this kind of stuff that often. Y'all see I make content about everything and anything and everything, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push a couple videos into this. I'm sorry. I gotta, okay, we gotta have a conversation. We gotta have a conversation.